my, 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 how the days are rolling by. Ho, 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 a poet and I don't even know it. So here we are on day four, once again to look at one of those lovely little nodes by Algorithmic. And today's node shall be... Base Material Node. Ho, 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 ho. Sounded more like uh, Jabba the Hutt. Anyway, um, so this is the base material nodes for day number four. Um, that can be found once again in the material filters tab here, base material. Now this is an extremely useful node for setting up a physical base rendering setup really quickly. So for example, if I press number two on the keyboard and open up the actual node itself, you can see that we've got a base color, a normal roughness, metallic, um, ambient occlusion, and a height map um, already all set up for us within this base material. So what I've done is I've created a substance graph, um, which is obviously physically base rendered so we can use this node. And I'm just going to grab, in fact if I press three to compact it back down again, just pull out this, we can plug them straight in to the uh, base color, normal, roughness, and metallic. So straight away we've got a material plugged into there. Now, if we look at the parameters of the base material, we can see we've got the PBR workflow. So if you work in specular and glossiness, when you set up the substance graph, you can change it to that. But I'm using metal and roughness at the moment. There's also material preset. So if you want to set up something very quickly, like a dielectric or gold, silver, aluminium, whatever, if I click on, for example, gold, you can see it's got the exact correct values for gold in a PBR setup. So this is excellent if you're going to blend this in with um, a multi-material blend node here. So you could have different material blend nodes um, using these PBRs so that you could use it as kind of like a mask. So certain areas could be gold on the model and certain areas could be silver. So looking further into this, you can see we've got a roughness glossiness slider. So if you want to give some your own kind of values to that, you can do in certain situations. Um, but we've also got a grunge amount. So if I start to pull this grunge amount up, you can start to see we're starting to add some detail into the into the roughness channel, where a lot of the artistic work can go into there to give it a bit more. Uh, interest once it's on the model itself. There's also grunge tiling so you can tile that as well if you want the smaller grunge. Uh, another great thing is there's a custom grunge input so if I for example click on true it's completely disappeared but we've got a new node here grunge optional so I'm just gonna grab a grayscale for example black and white spots I'm just gonna plug that into there and you can see it's took on the parameters of the black and white spots onto the roughness so you can see that there so that gives you another option if you want to add in a bespoke map that you've already created if not just put that back to false and you can just use the generic grunge that's uh, procedurally created there you've also got the height so you can look at the height position if you want to obviously make it more sunk into the mesh or higher on the mesh you can do that and finally down here there's also user defined map so if you've already created an albedo for example if you turn this on to true you've now got a base color input so you could put in a base color for the uh, albedo and that would be reflected up here as you can see there's nothing in there because it's waiting for an input but if I turn that off we can go back to there so yeah this is a really cool node for setting up materials extremely quickly and as I mentioned before um, if you're using it with um, if I can find it sorry material filters multi-material blend node you could blend in uh, multiple um, PBR nodes together and add different areas on the model where it's got different material types <laughs> My, my, I remember when we couldn't afford a normal map. And now look, crazy PBR. Well, join me tomorrow where it will be day five. I'll be packing up the sleigh, but just time for one more day. Stroke six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you.